fucking you know. I don't think I'm gonna anyway. finish it anyway. Oh, spooky camera! Hi, everybody. My name's Joe. I'm also Joe. Welcome back to Ness's life. We got all the lights off, so you're not gonna see our wonderful faces today, uh, because he's gonna be playing Resident Evil for the first time. He's never, you've never played any Resident Evils, right? I have not. You have not played any Resident Evils. Well, you're gonna play Resident Evil, goddamn it! <laughs> and we're playing the uh, Resident Evil the remake. The, I think it was like 20, 2008 or something. I think they remade it for the GameCube, um, and then it's been redone as an HD remake. And they brought it out for the Switch. It was like 20 bones. So I was like, absolutely worth 20 bones. It came with Resident Evil Zero, which was a prequel to the first Resident Evil. You're going to go on that. Yeah, that so one we're there. playing this one. Buenz. Hey, Rob. How's it going? Thanks for popping in on us here. Yeah, I'm... I have a special connection, man. I loved Resident Evil as a kid. Uh, it was probably one of my favorite, like... It's just such a fun game. I loved it. It's always weird playing a game with better graphics than 16 bit. I agree. It lied. It does not mean any button. Well, it was designed with the GameCube controller. It had way less buttons. Oh, did you log in under you? I did. That's a good idea. Yeah, save it. I assume you've played all the Resident Evils. Yeah, Rob? You seem like you would have. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. <laughs> so good. Yeah, just, no, yeah, leave it on. Leave it exactly as it is. Do I want original controls? You've never played any of them? What? That's bizarre. Uh, yeah, you just want to leave it all alone. Read those. Read them carefully and think about it. So this is hard, medium, easy. Ideally? Sure. It is hard, normal, then they added an easy later in this remake. So, I originally played the game on normal, because I played it ages ago. I'll play it on normal, then? Sure, go for normal. I, got, I don't think there's any problem with normal difficulty. Trust me and be the girl. Are there only two? Yes. So, what's the difference between these? Just different skin. Oh. So, I can be a police officer, or... It's police officer either way. It's just... They gave him different skins for some reason. Hey, Andy and Joseph saying left my ass off. When I do, it'll be the remakes. Oh, the remakes are so good looking, dude. I played the Sony PlayStation one like a year ago. Uh, and just to like go back and play it. And it's so good still. I love it so much. I'll tell you what though. I did start playing this one. <laughs> and they changed a lot actually from the old PlayStation to this version. Um, like as soon as I got in the mansion, I was like, I don't remember this room. And then I looked it up. And I was like, nope, it is Alpha not the original. Around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Will this become our Saturday game? Sure. Instead of Kaizo Mario, like I want. Bizarre yeah, you're not gonna finish this. Recently one occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate. Was this? But we lost contact. Look, Chris. The one with the umbrella yes. symbol company. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search so what's for the, the other difference members, between the guy and the girl. And it turned into a nightmare. Difficulty. It's like a second difficulty choice. The girl's easier. She has more inventory slots. She gets a lockpick. Huh. 
And she starts with a pistol. The guy has six slots, starts with a gun. Gets no lockpick. I think there are actually other later game things that are different between the two as well, but... That was just straight up our game. Here's Joseph F. Zombie dogs. Literally. It's just like a dog, too, to turn around and be like, oh, you're there. That whole intro scene, I don't, it was not part of the PlayStation 1 back in 94, 96, or whatever. There are only three STARS members left now Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker. Hey, Whisker. Where's Chris? Jill, no. Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. He's Stay sharp. <laughs> Alright, so this is the first room you get control in. So familiarize yourself with the controls. I recommend using the D-pad, not the joystick. Because the joystick auto runs. And the D-pad walks. A dining uh, and this is not a game where you want to just randomly run around a corner. how I turn around. That turns as well. Alright. So, if you hold R1... That's not R1. That's that would R2. be R2. That pulls up your map. Okay. R1 aims your gun for... Or, no, I'm sorry. L1 aims your gun. You can go up or down. Don't shoot it, but R1 shoots your gun. Ammo conservation is big in this game. Um, I don't remember if L2 does anything. Is that L2? No, this is L2. Right. Yeah, I don't think L2 does anything. Uh, if you hold down B and a direction, you'll run. That's how you want to run in this game. Uh, a will interact with objects. If you have an object to interact with. Like that shiny thing there on the table. Um, yeah, you'll have to come around the corner a little to get to it. Ink ribbon. Ink ribbons go in typewriters. That is how you save your game. Saves are also a limited resource. <laughs> so if I hit it now, it will save. It will ask you if you want to save, yeah. Um, I don't remember if X or Y do anything. 
Well, this is X. X oh, X is your inventory. inventory. So in here you can do uh, A on anything and it'll let you equip it or check it, which is look at it. So like you can examine it and then you can kind of look at it. Because there are items in the game that you're going to have to like examine and look at and figure things out. God, it looks so much better than it did back in 96. I'm sure. All right. Uh, I think B cancels out. Or maybe I have to X again. Oh, here you go. Does Y do anything? Hit start. Or plus. Controls. There you go. Yeah, Y doesn't do anything. Oh, L2 changes your target. So if you're aiming and there's two guys, you can hit the L2 to cycle between them. Which is something that didn't exist in the original. These controls are better than the originals. Like, they've put a lot more thought into it. Alright, you're free to go. It's interesting. They did it with predetermined camera angles. Yeah, they did. Well, I mean... I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? I think it's a combination... Uh, that it what? both heightens the suspense and makes it a little bit more Jill, difficult. See if you can you find know. any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Why does she have shoulder pads? I thought that, as far as the remake's concerned, like watch how she walks. It's kind of like that sideways approach that you see actually like done tactically with army and stuff. Like they put a lot of thought into it. So, like, if you walk up to things and press A, you'll examine them. like what that said had to do with that image spilled cup I will go ahead and say you shouldn't feel bad about saving right here because if you do die before you save, it starts the entire game over. Like, videos, cutscenes, and all. Hmm. So Is it's, that not skippable? Uh, parts of it are, but not all of it. It's just, if you die, it'll say, do you want to load your last save? It's just better if you do. And you're off. <laughs> Had a seizure from the lightning. So this is where I came in. That is where you came in. Can I leave this room? Is it like you gonna let me do that? Gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Jill. Sure thing, Wesker. I see. It's not. <laughs> nice. I actually wasn't sure what would happen there, because that is not what happened in the original, I don't think. I don't know if I like the movement. Yeah, it takes how getting the used side. To D, like left and right turn. And yeah. Then, oh, it goes forward. That's interesting. I'll give it that. But... 
sir. What can I? Barry. How did Barry get in here? He's been in there. Is that Barry? Yeah, that's Barry. No. Chris is the missing one. And the guy out front is Wesker. So is that it? Look around. Check things out. Look at that door. Is there anything else in this room? I don't know. I don't want to give you too many hints, but... came in can I walk this way walk this way I can talk this way I'll walk this way first can I get a camera change thank you <laughs> it'll give you one when it's ready It's a corner. I want to explore this whole hallway first. There we go. Progress. Progress. Is there a door there? I can't actually tell. Ah. Zombroni. I'd love to tell you there's a predetermined number, but it's pretty random sometimes. Sometimes you get lucky and kill them in a couple. Sometimes you do not. Sir. <laughs> No face cam. Uh, well, we've got the uh, lights turned off because I wanted proper setting. Can uh, I? So you can't really see us anyway. Can't loop, loot his corpse. It's a corpse. And now I can turn the camera on. You'll probably be able to see the outline of our face in the computer's light. But where the hell is the couch camera? There it is. Ooh. Well, <laughs> maybe you can see a face right there. But yeah, you really can't see Wait, us. Who's this one? It said the corpse of something it belonged to kenneth it's kenneth's corpse Did it, is it kenneth's corpse? anyway it's kenneth's corpse. thanks for joining us there it's not nice to have you yeah joey kind of scoffed at me when i was like turn the lights off <laughs> he's like they won't be able to see us i'm like you need darkness for resident evil otherwise it's just not worth it <laughs> Oh, hey, if you go in your inventory... Oh, well, you know you don't have an extra clip, I don't think, do you? No, no you just had the 15 bullets. Sweet, I got two bullets. <laughs> Why did it take oh my God. all of my ammo to kill that thing? It's the best. <laughs> Barry. Barry. What is it? What? I thought I killed him. Let me take care of it. Are you telling me if I just decided to walk into this room, he would have killed it for me? Entertainingly, yes. <laughs> what the hell is this? I wanted it to kind of kill you. I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Can I look at its corpse now? No. All right. Also, I want Barry's gun. Damn it! She gets this crappy little. Pea shooter takes 13 bullets. That dude shot him three times with his hand cannon of a six shooter. What 
was up with the weird camera switch? Uh, there was like a groan. You didn't hear it because I was talking, but it doesn't do anything. It's just a groan, I think, to try and make you jump. Wesker's gone. Go figure. Wesker! You're off to go investigate. <laughs> Jill, help me look for it. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Okay, so I'm confined to this room again. Yep. You have to investigate the hall. Don't leave it. Keep in mind he was like two inches away when he shot him, though. That's true! Um, but... I don't know. I wasn't exactly far from yeah. the zombie when I shot him. What did... I would say, I, I have gotten awfully close to zombies and shot the piss out of them and not killed them. <laughs> What's over this way? Back here. Wait, Go back. The vase. It's not a vase, it's a vase, picture. It's a picture. Yeah. What's this? It looks like a mirror. It's just an alcove. Am I allowed to go down here? I'll go down there later. <laughs> I'm not leaving this hall yet. I want to look at this painting, but I don't think I can. Chinese urn. Chinese urns. Cool. What is this thing? Something I can't go to. Another little painting thing here. I'm assuming this goes to the same place. I don't like that. Why is it not showing me around? <laughs> I told you it's part of the suspense of the game builds, just forcing those camera angles. Oh, I forgot to turn the thing on, Dave. Sorry. No okay. honk. Oh, sound bot. Yeah, I'll turn this. I was saying, did you not turn the mic on? No, the mic's on. I just forgot to turn the sound bot what? on. We'll turn on it. Oh, I walked in a circle Barry. and it decided that was enough. Any luck, Jill? Yeah. No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now West. Buzzkill. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate nope. the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try no. the door on the other side. <laughs> no. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh. I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Okay. Do I have to equip this? No. It is just... As long as it's in, in your inventory, it will use it when appropriate. Listen. Something happens. Is it a one-time use? No. Got it? Okay. Can I break it? I don't believe so. Unless that's something they added. So is that to the dining room? the remake. Yeah, that's the dining room. That's inventory, not what I wanted. There we go. So I'm going across. Right? That's what she said. Red doors are locked. Blue doors you've been through. Gray doors are open. Uh, red rooms means you still have stuff to do in them somehow. It might not even be now. It might be in the future. And then green rooms mean you've got nothing else to do there. Well... Wait, so this is a roguelike game? Uh, no. Not a roguelike. It's, roguelike's procedurally generated. I already right? don't like that. Isn't that what roguelike means? No, a roguelike is when you die, you lose everything, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh. Well, no, as long as you've saved, you won't lose it. <laughs> okay. But it does punish the out of you. <laughs> Just in general. Good to know. Wouldn't you know? This what? room has a snake thing. Oh, is this just gonna say the same thing for all of them? A snake thing? Yeah, there's a weird S curve. Seems way. That one was different. It's almost seems uh, like it's watching you. It says uh, Roblox is just dungeon based layout, and I am also right, it is also procedural. Dave, you're not supposed to tell him anything. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not looking at I know chat. You're not. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> can I get off of that? Can I? Can, can I? I can't. So. There must be an update to the chat bot for the sounds because it is taking forever to open. Can I push it to the side? You can see the shine. Yes, we can see the shine.
Is he talking about the shiny bit inside the urn? Yeah, that's he said there's an item in the jug. I'm not even sure how to get to it, though. How would I get to it? I mean, you had the right idea. With what? With the dresser. Well, I wanted to push it. Yeah. I can't. How do I push it? Because I... Oh, now it's going to let me push it? It was just telling me to get on it. So can I just push it all the way through? All the way through to what? The, the, the wall over here? Well, I mean, no, I think it might stop you just because of the door there. Uh, can you even get behind it at this point? Yes. No, I meant behind it. So that you could push it towards the statue. That would be a no. <laughs> I think if you leave the room and come back, it resets. Yes, that is an absolute fact. If if it were not for like the little lens flare, you would have never found a damn thing in the old PlayStation 1. There it is. All right, so the chat bot should be up. If you would like to do a, a post-set honk. <laughs> <Can I? laughs> there you go. We got the honk. <laughs> Turn that way. Turn this way. Thank you. Is that good enough? I don't know. There's a map. Yes, I will take it. Ah, I get the whole first floor. Cool. Alright, so I can't get in that door yet. I have to follow this thing through. Ah, uh, didn't honk. It's on a cooldown. If you're wondering why I didn't honk a second time there. I don't like this room. <laughs> you're not going to like any room in this joint, dude. It, that's the whole point of the camera is to make you be like, God damn it, I know there's going to be a zombie there. This room is still red. Can I? Oh, that's a painting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot enter the painting. I still have one bullet, don't I? Two? Two, two bullets, yeah. I think? That just means you're going to have to switch to your knife at some point. If I go into my inventory, does it pause the game? Yes, it will pause me if you go into your inventory. Item. Various art supplies. Are these all various art supplies? Yeah, basically. So one of the things they added in this game, in the remake, is defensive weapons. So if you find these daggers or stun guns, basically, if a zombie gets a hold of you, your character uh, will automatically like stab them or use a stun gun on them to knock them down so you can get away. Because like, you're out of bullets almost. There are definitely going to be instances where you're going to run away. <laughs> like You're just not going to have a choice. So do I have to have it equipped? or You do have to equip it as a defensive item. It doesn't replace your main weapon. It just... When you go in your inventory, you'll see. So see, it automatically equipped. It says defensive right. item, your dagger's equipped. Alright. Huh. Is that all that was down here? You're not what I wanted. Must press A to use, it says the game. Uh, the alternate control scheme automatically does it. So what's up with the really I'm pretty thin sure. wall here? Just a thin wall? I don't know. I've got everything in this room. I guess I'll go to... 
Close his face. Or not. Uh. Brains! Yeah, okay. Gotcha. There, there went your dagger. Run, run. <laughs> Also, like, the music changes in this one when there's a zombie alive. Like, if you killed it, the music would have went back to just, like, ambient. So is that zombie going to still be alive when I go back in there? Very much. Okay. Can you go through doors? N no, I don't think they go through doors. I don't think they go upstairs, either. At least they didn't used to. That might be something they changed, though. I don't even talk to him. What's his face? <laughs> It's all going wrong. So did that change it back to red? No. You, uh, Chris? Is that your name? No. We're trying to find Barry. It. Barry. Barry's gone. Barry, you said you'd be in here. Barry left. Barry. Barry has left the building. I'm all alone now. All alone. Come on, Barry. That's not very cool. Oh, no. So basically, at this point, you're looking for gray doors that you can go through. So this room is still red. Yes, there are still things to do in this room, but they are not necessarily things that need to be done right now. In fact, if I recall, the couple of things that you do in that room are fairly later in the game, or maybe even closer to midpoint. Oh, it's just it's been so long since I've played through this thing. Am I go I'm not going the right way. Sorry, Kenneth. All these door animations were built to do the load time from one part of the CD to the next. <laughs> he pulls the gun right. Like a like a camera switch, please. Thank you. What's over here? What are these? It's a little teapot. I can't short and stout. Well, let me talk. Can I talk to the teapot? Will it protect me? <laughs> if only. How does the melee weapon work? Uh, exact same way. You hold L to put it up, and then R swipes it, basically. Oh. <gasps> yes <laughs> yes so now go into your inventory does it get rid of my current two bullets no uh go ahead and hit a hit combine and you combine it with your gun we'll refill your gun okay keep in mind your health you can only take like three hits and you die so i've been hit once no because you your defensive adam stabbed him in the head so, like, if you look at you in your inventory, your health says fine, and then after that is caution, and then after that is basically, like, critical, and then you're dead. <laughs> huh. Are you going to get up at me? An instant death. Headshot. All right, well, we'll take uh, please don't get up as the camera changes. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. I hope you like pot, because you're going to be picking up a lot of pot in this game. Oh, are these healing items? Yeah. Do they, no, they don't stack. Um, correct, they do not stack. But in the inventory screen, you can combine them to make them more potent. better one. Yeah. yeah. And there are two other color herbs later in the game. There's a red herb and a blue herb that you can combine them in different quantities to make specific healing things. Okay, I got everything in here.
Hmm. Mirror. Alright. Uh, I do not have the thing. Oh, dear. I would like to go right first. So I can clear out whatever is down here. <laughs> I can see him. What happens if I shoot? Uh, Did he turn around? Uh, my hitting? guess is he'll become aware that you are there. Did, will it hit him? Uh, probably. Yes. Did it? Yeah. Did. The question is, is there another one over here? The question is, is he dead? No. <laughs> How is he not dead? Is he dead now? See now, there. Uh, I'll say the original one, if they were dead, that a pool of blood would come out from him. I don't like that it disappeared though, but it did come out, so he is dead. Yeah, in Resident Evil 1, that, that was it. Like, when a dude hit the ground, you sat there for a second and waited to see if the blood pooled under them, and if it did, you're like, okay, I can move. <laughs> doesn't look ominous at all, does it? <laughs> uh, there's a sparkle thing. Where is... Where is that sparkle thing? It's one of these. <laughs> or it's that. It's entirely possible that, that it's that. Is that a rapier? Dagger? What is it? Takes a golden arrow. Does the golden arrow is it a defensive weapon? No, it's not, apparently. Can I oh, I did remove it. Is that it? Is that it for now? So now do I just have an arrowhead? I do. Puzzle piece. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the uh, arrowhead from the original game at all. And the area that it applies to later, I do not remember from the original game either. And I'm pretty sure it was not in there. Please don't be a zombie around this corner. It's a mouse tool. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Is that a gray door? No, it's red. Mind you, your lockpick can open some red doors. So you should still try to click on them. Uh, well, when you, you know, are ready to. But I'm just saying. You're still dead, right? Yeah, cool. <laughs> You're still dead, right? Just wanted to make sure. You're new. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Like, when you came through the door, I'm like, does he not see the feet laying there? I didn't. I can't pick this up, can I? Nope, you can oh, pick can't. one more up, and that's it. What's up with you, sir? I can't look at your corpse. You could equip your knife, aim down, and see if when you stab him, if he stands up. <laughs> or you could just leave his ass alone. <laughs> He's a dead guy. Could I have stabbed the dude earlier? On the ground? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Okay, I guess I'm going through this door behind me. Seems that way. It's a suit of armor. 
for the bus. Oh, back downstairs. Death is only the beginning. No, death is the end. Oh, it's upstairs. That does not bode well. <laughs> That's a death trap. Do I... I'm not telling you. Explore, child. I haven't saved in a while. That's true. You've not saved in a while. Should I go do that? It's up to you. I'm going to go do that before I <laughs> run into this <laughs> death spike. Is this the door? Yeah. Ooh, wait. I'm gonna go stab this dude. I forgot how slow a burn these games. Yes, this game is slow. Um, I mean, to be fair. It's supposed to be slow. So and you died from instant death. Are you gonna get up? Doesn't look like. Okay, it. cool. But yeah, you're right, Dave. These games are very slow. I mean, it takes a while for you to get some action, and and really, I don't think like proper action exists except maybe in like three points in this game where you're just like blood pumping, like moving, you know. The build suspense and makes death meaningful. Yes. Exactly. And it does that. It does that well, I think. Oh, this room. That door. Yeah, this, this is the Resident Evil Origins collection is on sale at Wally World for 20 bucks. And I was like, 20 bucks? Psh, happily. Such a fun game. Save your progress. See, like, the first save point used to be in that front hallway right next to the stairwell. And now it's in here. Which, I don't see what the difference was, really, but whatever. I will always dislike the camera angles. Yes, that's fair. That is a fair criticism of this game. But they're there for a purpose. They're there to also help build suspense. What I don't like is the crappy controls where sometimes, depending on the camera angle, angle forward is forward and then forward is left, and then it's kind of a pain in the nuts. And actually, the control scheme they did in the remake is cleans that up a lot, but there are still times where you're like, no, that's not what I want you to do. <laughs> death man are you gonna chase after me see this whole section here is new this was not in the original game shoot <laughs> can't remember how many times I ran to save and forgot where I was so what do I do now I guess I'll combine one of these. And there you go. You'll find yourself doing that a lot later in the game, being like, crap, I need one inventory slot. Let me quick chop combine something, I guess. I don't want to collect it. Well, I guess I'll collect it now. Go, 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 go. Move sideways. Uh -oh. <laughs> sideways was not the right choice. Here it comes. Wait, how do I... What do I do? In the effort of not having to repeat the entire section, put the key back. Go to inventory. 
click on the key and hit use. Now you know where the armor key is, though. For what it matters. How, sir? How do I stop you? Can I stop him? Is there a room that disables this? <laughs> I saw a shiny in here. Uh, I did not. I don't know if you did or not. I didn't. Can I go through here? It is currently red, but again, you have the lockpick, and I'm not sure whether it'll work on that door or not. Nope. You need the helmet key. Wait, I wanted to look at the thing back there. Okay, there was nothing to look at. I think it was at. just the key that was shining and made you think there was something else. That's not a shield, that's just a spike. I mean, it's a shield covered in spikes. Yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. Sir. I mean, now you're off to explore other things, because I will tell you this, I started replaying this game when I got it. And I did not get that key yet either, and I am further than you. <laughs> so it is a thing that you will have to just get to later. Alright. I kind of want to clear out the first floor first. I mean, you can't, because you can't get through all the doors, but... I can go through one. Which one? I don't know. Can I open any of them with a lockpick? I don't remember. You'd have to actually go try them. Well, let's go do that. Oh, there is one you can go through that I know, because it's not locked. So head back to that main hall. I'll give them this. The remake did a lot better job with making it, like ambient like the sound of your footsteps on the carpet and just like the shadows swinging in the background stuff they couldn't have pulled off in the 90s all right is it in this hallway because this is where i was going to start checking doors start checking i mean you don't have to do what i did can't do that one what about you you're the armor key right Right, I didn't check over here, did I? Nope. Does that mean it goes downstairs? There's an elevator. Oh, it's downstairs right now. That's what the cage thing was below those stairs, right? Hmm. Okay, making sure I had full ammo. <laughs> That's just a door. Yeah, it looks like a door. Oh, I can't do anything over here. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to walk around and eliminate options. I will say this. Uh, I really wish this game had Breath of the Wild's like map pin system. So you could mark doors and be like, I can't go here yet, so don't bother. Or you can mark them and be like, this door is an armor key door. This door is a helmet door. Unfortunately, there's no pin system. I wasn't able to look at this last time. I haven't seen the shield one, have I? No. Should I just leave it here then? Yeah. <laughs> or is it a defensive thing? No, it is not a defensive thing. It's a puzzle piece that you'll need later in the game. Okay, can I look at these bits? Nope.
And so if you pull up your map, you see right there at the top, see the stairs? Yeah. And there's the red door. Mm -hmm. See where that black arrow connects up there above it? Huh? Go upstairs. <laughs> up the main stairs? Yeah, up okay. the main stairs. See the door? <laughs> yeah, I do see the door. That door did not exist in the first game. What's up here? The whole section behind it did not exist in the first game. Just a bunch of doors up here? I'm almost certain. Yeah, it's just a bunch of doors. It'll lead to different places. Gray door as well. All right. I guess I'll do this door first. Well, that's a interesting looking door. It's made to look like the wall. I'm outside. You are outside. <laughs> I can't see hardly anything. Well, you're not supposed to see. But I can't tell where walls are. So the red line is not visible. It doesn't change the red line. No, it's so you can't see the colors under the red line. Oh, see how well, you can see the colors bleeding? I couldn't see the colors under the red line in the first place. Yeah, see? So it was perfect. Just the way it was. It's supposed to be dark and foreboding. I didn't say that. Save or just saving what my it's saving was. the settings, yeah. Trust me, it doesn't give a shit about auto save. And if you die in this game, it's your own fault. <laughs> ah, so a bunch of gravestones. Are there zombies here? Maybe, probably. Nice, yeah. Isn't that the worst I got out here? I was like, really? Come on, man. Where did, I, did I come from this way? No. No. Zombie, will you pop out? Talk to me, sir. That's a terrible camera angle. Picture of an angel. Oh, well. I feel like that's obvious. I'm gonna go check out the uh, other place first. Zombie? Hello? Break. I don't have a shotgun. Is there another sparkly thing, or was that just? It wasn't sparkly. Yeah. That's when you moved. I thought I saw something shiny. Guess I'll go this way. Who doesn't want to go down into a crypt? Well, I don't like that noise. Ha! I don't That's see bad. why it was necessary. This whole game, the whole, the, the entire thing is designed to screw with you. Ah, oh, yes. Cogs on a machine. Okay. Is this a hole in the mouth? And mouth. And nose. 
sure this one just knows then. Where the nose should be. Yeah, the hole where the mouth should be. So I need either I need to find one wait, do I need to find eyes, a mouth, a nose, and then an eye, mouth, and nose. Right? Also, is that just an incinerator? Cool. Just ambient lighting. Basically. <laughs> what are you, what are you doing? That doesn't bode well. <laughs> that is a creepy looking thing, isn't it? What happens when I take this? Will that fall? The name also doesn't bode well. I don't want to get cursed. You're gonna, you're gonna fall on me when I run past you? Can I shoot it? I don't want to waste ammo. It's the worst part about ever guessing in this game is being like, I don't, I, but it's a bullet and it's precious. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what the rest is. It's a puzzle, bro. Puzzle to which you obviously, I mean, you've, you you got to find the parts to it. You already know that. Also, and just to throw this at you, because this took me forever to figure out when I was a kid. Examine the book. <laughs> look to the side. Look at the back. There's a key embedded on the back. Move it. Oh, look. Mansion key. Look at curses. Okay. Four masks. Right, right. I got this, except it's usually here in Oedal. Uh -huh. Which I thought was really weird, too. So do I have to rearrange them? You have to find the masks. Okay, I guess. So now go in your inventory and examine the key. D delete the book. Yeah, well the book becomes a file once it doesn't have the item anymore. Hey look, it's the sword key. <laughs> oh. And now you know you have the sword key. Where's the sword door? Uh, there's a couple sword doors, I think. I don't remember which one, but... Well, I've only seen one. Kind of I don't know. Again, this is why where I really wish there was a pin system on the map thing. Look at that! Didn't work. You didn't jump at all. You damn teenager. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You'll get careless at some point. <laughs> I'm going to go check the other gray door first. Also, does it mark that I can go into a door? No. No. No, you just have to go click on the Find damn it. things. Yeah. Uh, Again, pin system. Oh, if only. Are you the open door? You are. Zombie? Is this a mistake? Oh, I'm in the dining room. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, in the PlayStation version, it made a much better, did a much better job when you were on the first floor of pointing out that there was clearly a second floor balcony. Is there a zombie up here? What, you, what is this? There is. Where? Which side is he on? He's on that side. There's another defensive dagger. 
If you hit your L2 button, you should aim at him. They usually always die the second time they fall down. Yeah, his blood pool. He's good. Yes. So it should just, yeah, it should just be equipped. All right, six. So now it's over here. This is not a better camera angle. <laughs> Man. Oh, I push you, don't I? She has a flower on her head. Oh, I can't push her that way. Okay, I have to push her to the hole in the fence, don't I? Look at you, quickly figuring shit out. What is she holding? Is it a flower? I don't know what she's holding. It's a blue something. Sorry, lady. You killed her. You bastard. Door. No, just a stained glass window. Mm, well, the woman uh, no longer there. Where does that Where does that door lead? Which one? That one. In front of you? Yeah. I don't know, but you don't know yet. You haven't opened it. But it shows me what's behind this door. Well, yes, because you've been in the area behind that door already. Do I still have the sword key? Thank yeah. It, when you open the last sword door, it will say this key is now useless. Do you want to get rid of it? Alright. Now I'm going to go right. through it? Well, I want to go to the stairs so I can go down and check out the lady. But, I mean, I guess I can. Ah, it's up to you. I don't care. What's through it? I don't remember. I think I have, yeah, I have opened it in my game, but it was a couple days ago. Also, who has door handles like that anymore? Nobody, but it's an old mansion. What do you want? Door handles not like that? I didn't want to use the lockpick yet. Oh, I still have the lockpick. Yeah, it doesn't go away. Oh, hello, Skitter's dog. Yeah, go around, huh? That's not a work. Okay, lots of herb. Keep that in mind. Let's well, over this way. All right, it's into the dining room. A witch. Maybe the dog would like a. Come on. <laughs> he says, hey man, share some space on the couch, would you? You can go stinky. <laughs> you can't go over there. You have to stay on the left side of me. He says, I disagree. Just a hanging plant. Okay, so I can go down here. That's what's down here. Okay. Thorny plants. So why don't I just run away? I feel like that'd be a wise choice. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, you didn't try to go back out the front door unless his nuts stopped you. Couldn't open it. No, I said I unlocked it. Oh. I just wanted to check out the rest of this room. Am I? Main room. Oh. Okay, I guess. I have 
sort of ended up where I wanted anyway. Sir, you're gonna have to move. You're the one that just put yourself in a very poor position. He's just there to mess with you. Hmm. That's not how windows work. So cleany, it's reflective. Well, see, now you're back at the stairs. <laughs> so now you can go down and look at the lady. She was through this door, right? Dining room. Yeah. This is the door she was through. lady I knocked you down you can give me a jewel I can't carry any more items <laughs> if I drop something will it stay here or does it delete it uh, I don't remember did I don't remember honestly you can't drop it that's what <laughs> I have a giant herb I mean, it's better than having no herb, I guess. Blue gemstone. Where do I put this? You got some dank bud. Am I needed a blue gemstone? Not yet. At least not to my knowledge. Required the armor one, right? No, it's just locked from the other side. This required the armor one. Yeah. And then what was back here? Ah. Entry into the basement. a door. Okay. Mm, I mm. see a cliff. Oh. I didn't even see that. I just clicked. Sometimes it works out like that. From an unidentified source. Well, it's meat, and it's meaty. Oh. <laughs> That's it, bro. Just a bunch of meat. Maggots.
Is that an elevator button? Yeah, I think so. Alright, so I can't do anything down here. And with the change in music, I thought for sure there'd be a zombie in there, but did not appear to be. Just an ambient basement. Huh. Oh, we were wrong, there's a zombie. <laughs> Ma'am, you have a gun. Is it gonna let me shoot it? Wow. Love those camera angles. You're not dead. Yeah, you are dead. Yeah. See, sometimes you get lucky. Like, it's random, but you can occasionally get critical hits. You can even get hits that'll make their heads explode. But again, randomized. And I don't know. I don't know, like, like, I don't know what the percentage chance or if there's a specific thing that makes, like, a distance thing or or what. But sometimes they go down pretty easy. Other times, not so much. Wait a minute. What? Wait, what? No, never mind. Being dumb. Oh, yeah. The first step is admitting you have a problem. <laughs> <clears throat> the game has a lot of backtracking. Which I guess is fair, considering you're pretty much entirely in a mansion. Like... Doesn't sound particularly promising, does it? No. Sir, you were dead last time. It's a pig plane, skip it. Oh, the body's gone. And there's crows on the ceiling, that's what they call them. That's what the noise is. But the body's also gone. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Hello. It's in here. Also, where the hell did the crows come from? It's the dead right inside. That's new. Game is fucking with you. <laughs> Are you up here, sir? And give her a tickle. <laughs> You're not up here. Are you in here? Give it a little tickle. Just a pinch. A little squeeze if you might. Crows need to eat. <laughs> yeah. Feed the crows, bro. Herb. It's humane. So blue shows that I've unlocked it, right? Yes. Blue shows that you have gone through them. Okay. So that leads back to the dining room. This does? Yeah, if I'm remembering your map correctly. Yeah, dining room. 
Oh, so that's a big circle that I just made. Well, for the most part, yeah. I mean... Okay, so what do I need to check out? Well, you can either start on the did other side of the mansion. Did I check out both mansion. of those red doors right there? I don't think I did. No, I don't think you did either, actually. I know where one of them goes. Without backtracking, the mansion isn't very big. That is very true. <clears throat> no, I think I went downstairs. No, I went through that door. No, that's right. Okay, sir, where are you? Did you press A? Did you press L2? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it auto aims you. Oh, shit, they do come upstairs in this game. <laughs> There goes all your bullets. That was seven. You weren't bleeding yet, sir. Get back up. No, you're not dead yet. Bastard. I heard the groan. Downstairs. Just move. Um, get, it to, get it to flip your camera angle. There's definitely another zombie, though. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you found him. Alright, so here's the plan. Stand on the other side of the railing. <laughs> <laughs> One shot and he goes down. Is he gonna get back? He is gonna get back up. Oh, he blew his head up. Nice. Headshot. You damn right, headshots. All right, sick. <clears throat> So I know where this door goes. You unlocked it. Where does it go? It just connects. Oh, out to that hallway. There you go. I do not know where this door goes. It is locked. That's where it goes. Ah, helmet. Okay. I guess I'll go downstairs. It is an option. I haven't done that yet. Okay, so I'm gonna go check these two locked rooms, see if I can unlock them first. Why? Why? Bolt of lightning. What is this? A drawer? Smells faintly unpleasant. Faintly unpleasant. I don't like windows. <laughs> If I remember, I don't know much about this game, but I have seen bits and pieces. And if I remember correctly, there's a spot where dogs jump through the windows at you. Well, then it shouldn't, it shouldn't make you jump too much when it happens. <laughs> All right. All right, cool. Can I replace the armor key with the sword key? like the armor stand thing oh oh no i don't think so storage room ink ribbon absolutely so plenty of kerosene left cool so if something was to light this on fire a battery pack that's a stun gun by the by okay so that's just another defensive item cs so yeah, says you have Two daggers and a stun yeah. gun now. Alright, cool. Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, so bad. Where can I draw? Oh, then you can drop things. <laughs> oh, that's the do best. I, do I shoot three bullets? Uh, don't. Don't waste your bullets. They're precious. It's just, a whole shotgun. <clears throat> I get I waste three and get six trust, extra. Trust trust me. Just go around the corner. What corner? The other corner in the hallway. There was another gray door down there around the corner by the stairs. I actually don't really remember where it was. It's right there. To the left. Ours? Hmm. Someone else killed it. Is this where what's his face is? Barry? Is Barry a zombie now? Zombie Barry? So there are a couple of these throughout the mansion, and they're all connected. It is basically your storage box. But now you can dump off the crap you don't need to carry. That's about it. So see the... Basically, from here out, generally when you save, it's going to be in one of the rooms that has a box in it. And so what you do is you there's a typewriter, you save your game, and then you immediately put the ink ribbon back in the box. Because you're like, I don't need to carry ink ribbons with me all the time. Let me see. Alright, so where's the typewriter? Because there it said there was one in this Yeah, room. it's right there. There's also special instructions for disposal of dead bodies. Save your progress. Yeah, I'll use one. Well, also it's 9.52, so I feel like that's probably a good place to end the stream for the night. Right. I, mean, I think you made admirable progress, having never played it before. Plus you had to watch all the intro videos and crap. You didn't die, though. I mean, that's a bonus. Was I supposed to? Uh, no. Just... If I recall, I died to that very first zombie <laughs> the first time I played this. Like, I tried shooting. The controls in the original were even worse. I tried killing him, and he just got to me and ate me to death. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll call that a good place to stop for the night. We'll see if you can remember the fact that you uh, were here to try and get your thing. So to those of you in the chat, Commander Root, Grind Salsa, It's Not, it Lurks, like she's hovering across Saddest the Kitty, floor. Scone TV, and Thicker. Thanks for uh, watching us and joining us. Uh, even for those who decided to lurk and not chat, that's fine. Uh, we appreciate everybody being here. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. Well, Wednesday night is going to be our normal stream. We're going to be doing Tom and Jerry um, sure. for the Super Nintendo. And then we'll decide Wednesday night whether Tom and Jerry gets a second day of play on Saturday or not. And then Saturday night will become Resident Evil night after our regular stream. So, thanks a lot, folks. We'll be back on Wednesday. See you later. Have a good night. See you guys.